for the Robert E. Lee. <laughs>
not as if Mozart had written it. Strauss had written John Philip Sousa.
you'd want this along with it. This is good gravy, the good gravy rag. So security comes over and grabs him. And I says, sir, you're going to have to leave. You can't. And he falls back asleep and he says, no, sir, you have to get out of here. He says, oh, please go away and let me sleep. And in comes the orchestra. I would rather sleep. Okay. And, and everybody loved the gag. And by the third time around, everybody was singing it. And lo and behold, it was amazing. You went down in the lobby afterwards and there were copies of the music right there. <laughs> Marketing. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Troubles me, it seems. Well, I don't mind the summer heat or wintry storms. When I turn in bed, I feel the spring. Ow! Alarm clocks act on me just like a dose of chloroform. When folks try to wake me up, I sing. Oh, please go away and let me sleep. Let me have my slumber deep. I would rather sleep than eat. The sleep to me is such a treat, treat, treat. I never had a dream so nice. Thought 
thought I was in paradise. Waking me up makes me feel cheap, so please let me sleep. This morning I was pounding my ear, dreaming I'm the warmest guy in town. The landlord hollers, hurry up and get out of here. Hurry up, the place is burning down. Well, I got sore being woke and started to shout. Stop that noise, I'm never going to say. I can't watch no fire now, so you can put it out. Burn your label house when I'm awake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please go away and let me sleep. Don't disturb my slumber deep. I would rather sleep than eat. Cause sleep to me is such a treat, treat, treat. I never had a dream so nice. Thought I was in paradise. Waking me up makes me feel cheap, so please let me sleep.
say I wrote it. <laughs> the hunter stalks the tiger. Or does the tiger stalk the hunter?
Thanks. With uh, a medium stride tempo, and then I it put in a little bit of the great Earl Hines in there. He had a big hit on it, and uh, and then a very fast stride and walking bass tempo. Boogie Woogie is America's forgotten music, and we're trying to bring it back. It's uh, was the most popular music in World War II. And I grew up with that. I knew the three of the greatest boogie woogie piano players, Meat Lux Lewis, Pete Johnson, and Albert Evans. But uh, here comes the St. Louis Blues.
very good. You're not doing anything. Uh, so what, what, what is your name? Uh, Michael. Michael. Michael, come on up here, Michael. Yeah, let's hear from Michael. Come on up here, Michael. There you go. Thank you for coming up here, Michael. Michael, we're going to play a little game. Do you like games? Of course, you do. everyone likes games. We're going to play a game. You know, a game, uh, this little thing that was played in Times Square. It was played in various uh, saloons, bars, out in Coney Island. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And you know what even makes it more fun? He's playing a game for money. Do you have any money, Michael? Do you have any, some Michael money, Michael? What do you, what do you got? Oh, you got some money? What do you, what do you got? Let me, let me, what do you, what do you got? Let me see what you got there. We got uh, one, two, three, four. Five dollars. Oh, someone's going to get him a woman tonight, huh? Yeah, you go. Welcome to the big city, Michael. Okay, fine. It's very simple, Michael. With your, uh, with this hand, hold this just like that, okay? Because we're going to play for the five dollars there. Now, the game is called Nuts. That's the name of the game. Maybe you've heard of it. And I've got uh, two peanuts here that we can use as sort of a visual aid. They'll help you out, Michael, because I like you, Michael. So hold out your other hand there, Michael. And... There you go, you got the nuts. And the reason you've got that, and keep your eye on those nuts, because I'm going to ask you questions. It's a quirky little game. I'm going to ask you some questions. And no matter what I ask you, the correct answer is nuts. You answer nuts, you win. You answer anything else but nuts, and you lose a dollar. Do you understand? Yes. That's one. Okay. <laughs> this is how the game is played. You answer nuts. And and then then you win and you answer anything else. So are you ready to begin? Yes. Yeah, that's two. Okay. I'm coming to Durango more often. I like this town. And uh, and you should really go home and get some more money because I've got another game with three cards. You're gonna really like. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna take it easy on you, Michael. I like you. So I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, and I think you know what the correct answer is. Uh, no. It's very good. Very good. Now it's very very simple. Um, Yes. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, when you get your paycheck at the end of the week, and you open it up and you see how much money you have taken home, what do you say? Nuts. It's very good, good. And uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., the, the people that are running things, uh, well, well uh, what do you think of them? Nuts. Oh, good. Have you ever done this before? Uh, well, good. <laughs> so, now, I'll tell you what. Uh, this is a little too easy. I'm going to do just one more question here, and I think you know what the right answer is going to be, okay? One last question here for the game here, Michael. Very simply, uh, which you got, you got $2 and you got the two nuts. Which would you rather have, the money or the nuts? Uh, nuts. All right, you take the nuts and I'll take the money. And nuts to you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.